I got another Jubilee uh, against the real drug dealer. Dealers. I'm, I'm a former drug dealer. Five are posers. One is the real deal. Our team. All right. Come on. So they, they, them niggas in there? What are they these niggas? All right, the bitch with them fat ass boots on. Um, she a UFC fighter. Uh, the nigga with the Yeez is on. You you look like you ain't sell shit. You like you a sneaker plug, no cap. OG with this goddamn barbecue fit on. It's like he might have that work on back in the day, no cap. This nigga with these goddamn fat ass Timberland boots on. This nigga like he a goddamn male strip or some shit. That nigga don't even look like he can even sell a perk. Tony Hawk ass nigga over here. Tony Hawk ass nigga. Um, you got fool in the back, goddamn. So is he to them two niggas, OG or him? Peeps. I, I am Lay. I'm Ronnie. And we're, we're stoners. stoners. Yo, what's up? I'm Danny. Hey, I'm Dorian. I was a stoner. What? Peace. We're law enforcement. In a room full of liars, can these teams find the real deal? Each team has 15 minutes to find the real deal. Anytime within those 15 minutes, a team can lock in their answer. All right, first of all, everybody with pants, I'm going to need to see how high your socks are. Because they say the higher the socks, the downer the person is. So. All right, we got the ankles on deck. Now, these are pretty high. <laughs> I got a question for number three. How many grams in an ounce? <laughs> Even on these police. The grass in an ounce. Now, these are pretty high. <laughs> I got a question for number three. How many grams in an ounce? <laughs> 28. Ooh. Oh, he's in 28. Yeah, that quick. Oh. How many grams in a pound? So how many grams in a pound? Mm -hmm. I don't think that good. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been arrested before? What have you all been arrested for? Spilling narcotics through an airplane. Okay. Standing on the corner, slanging that thing. <laughs> Misdemeanor drug possession. Personal possession. Something. Like I got arrested for smuggling weed in New Mexico. Okay. All right, group. Green, black, or white? Green. Black. Let's talk about uh, the colors. We knew there was going to be someone who didn't know what that meant. If you were about that life, you knew what it meant, so. Right away. What's green? Flag of Mexico. Hmm? The flag of Mexico. What's black? Power. <laughs> <laughs> What's white? Well, it's white. That's a neutral color right there. <laughs> What's black? Our heroin. What's green? Weed. What's white? The man. Huh? The man. <laughs> this is that pure uh, crap. We're making an elimination at this time. Each team will try to find the real deal by eliminating the imposters. If both teams eliminate the same person, they will be removed from the game. Who do you want to go with? I say. Well, we eliminated number five um, because he was a model. I've never really seen a pretty drug dealer before, so. He had that <laughs> look. For the whole group, I want to go around in order and see um, how much money has everybody made last year. I made uh, $350,000. Is this documented or undocumented money? Say that on camera. It can be undocumented. Yeah, it can be Probably like 250k. Between 150, 200,000. I'm a dependent, small time, 3,500. I made about 150k the last time, but it's been a few years for me. Between 80 and 150 back in the day. Okay. Where are you guys having? I want to ask the whole group. Going out to brunch, just hanging out, watching reruns of SpongeBob. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm practically retired. Yeah. <laughs> I like to bust down. Bust down? I like to bust down. <laughs> Every day of the week, buddy. <laughs> Blazing up. Trying to get paid. There you go. Oh, yeah.
Uh, I hike a lot, I play guitar, um, I smoke. I really just be smoking, hitting the gym. I don't get out the house much. I'm not really a social person. Okay. I don't do shit anymore. I go to work, try to see my kid. We would like to make an elimination. As a reminder, if both teams eliminate the same person, that person will be removed from the game. He sounded too happy-go-lucky to for me. And it was like, dude, you're hiking? Like, I was like, oh yeah, this dude, he's gone. What made you stop dealing drugs? Well, I can't. <laughs> I got tired of going to jail, bro. I decided to stop just because I, I saw how it was affecting people around me. I saw friends get locked up. I saw shit happening. And I wanted better for myself. My nephew was knifed. Didn't make it. What does it mean to be on deck? To be ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. They can say to be ready to rock and roll. Boy, let me get a size of living space jail face oh, here. So. Customer coming up. I'm stacked. <laughs> Light club. Well, now. for the group, can I see some tattoos? This is Al Capone and the shit out the police. This is more personal stuff, you know. Like me. I got my whole stomach. Right, We'd like to make an elimination. Mm -hmm. We had never <laughs> eliminated number one because SpongeBob <laughs> and his collar. <laughs> he is not from the '80s to be dressed <laughs> like that. Um, this is questions for number five. Uh, sure. Have you ever been robbed? Have I ever been robbed? Yeah, I think we all have. It just comes with the game. What will you do? Will you make something better? Create something new? Our Delta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what area do you guys stay in, like, right now? Downtown LA. Downtown? Orange County. Orange County. South Central. South Central. Downtown LA. Downtown. South Central. Cape Town. Cape Town. Okay. Number one. Do you know um, any weight conversions? It's kilos. Kilos of pounds. Watch him move. Number three, do you know any weight conversions? Bases, grams, pounds, ounces, QPs, birds, that type of All right, number three. <laughs> number four, did you ever have to flush anything down the toilet? Nah. Nah? Um, do anybody have any nicknames? Uh, certain places, they call me Medusa. Medusa. T-Mac. T-Mac. Called Shunk. Shunk. Roach. Roach. All right. We're ready to eliminate some people. I mean, some, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, number two is more of a raver than a drug dealer. You're giving me tattoo artists. Like. <laughs> For the group, finish this segment. Never get up. Chuck. High off your own supply. That's what I was gonna say. Never spend your bread on your own supply. So uh, never get shot. Never get up. Never get up. No way this nigga just said never get up. Chuck. High off your own supply. That's what I was gonna say. Never spend your bread on your own supply. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Never spend your Never spend your bread on your own supply. What the fuck you robbing the plug on here? Your bread on your own supply. Yeah, never take your own shit. You say that shit with confidence too. Uh number number three. Never get bread on your own supply. Can I see the way you walk, bro? Can I just see it? You, you, Strut for us. You're straight. Yeah, being from the block to the bad, you know. Uh, yeah, we look for those kind of walks and that kind of style. That's a mean one. Okay, Yo. OG. Swag ass. Man, the orthopedic soft boom. Big shoes ass. Okay. All day. Big swag. <laughs> for the group again, how'd you get in the game? Oh, uh, my flight instructor was a drug smuggler, and he just took me to the side. He's like, "Hey, Ray." How'd you get in the game? Oh, uh, my flight instructor was a drug smuggler, and he just took me to the side. He's like, "Hey, Ray, you know what? You're a good pilot. Why don't you become a drug smuggler?" See the airplane. This nigga a pilot. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Huh? Out there, 
Every time you bring it back, you're gonna make 60 to 80,000 per flight. So I did it. I first moved to Orange County. Everyone at my high school was doing Zans and I was the only kid in Orange County with no money. So I wanted some money and they said, this is how you can get it. Well, y'all know in the hood, we don't have much Zans. to start with. So <laughs> just being from gangs in the hood and the older homies coming up to you, letting you know, here's a way to make some money. My uncle had me deliver shit and told me what it was. Take this money. I lost my college wrestling scholarship. Hey. Moved back home. Break his number three, though. Let it too quiet. Found out my girl was a coke dealer. What did I do? I took the same route he did. I wanted to do it better. See, he talking to me. He's saying all this other bullshit. This shit fake. We'd like to do another elimination, please. This shit. Ain't nobody believe this shit. Thank you. His answers were so, yeah. like, they were so on point that they sounded fake. Also, yeah. when we asked him what was white, he said, the man. I was like, <laughs> man, he said, oh, I forgot he said that dumb ass shit. For number six, Think you know what a dub is. A dub? Like, somebody be like, oh, let me get a dub. I don't. Let's see, number five, can you name a class A, B, or C drug? Well, I can tell you right now, testosterone and steroids are under the same category as marijuana and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you get caught selling steroids, you got three to five year sentence. I didn't know that. Great information. No, just in case y'all ever need to know. I don't know if I asked this already, but everybody's occupation. I'm a performer. Performer? Three? Aspiring actor? Yeah? That's great. I'm a male stripper. I'll be real with you. That's for sure. Say it, did I? Did it. Bro, you ain't no fucking drug dealer. This nigga, bro, this nigga like a bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little action. I just want to know if anybody knows what this say is. Shit, like, say like, you know, you don't have like a scale or something like that. You know, you want to weigh something. Like, anybody know what this is called? You gotta eye it. Number three is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we want to. He said that shit because he ain't never had no scale. Nigga, you a finesse though. Got everybody in the hood, boy. Number eight, somebody. He's still be happy off that bullshit. Drug dealer number six. Unfortunately, both teens have decided that you are not the real deal, and we are going to have you exit, please. <laughs> you wait, you wait. I, this nigga not in the knees is not even out first. He's smiling too hard, yeah. He definitely know he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, what's white? Cocaine. Smooth sailing to the top. White is their hard walk, bitch. I don't give a fuck about that bum ass movie. Cocaine. Number four, what's white? Coke. Number one, what's white? Cocaine and cocaine say accessories. Be different, say rock. <laughs> Number three, what's white? Coke. <laughs> okay, so time has, has run out for y'all. If you want to go ahead and just make your final guess. I don't think so. I don't think it is. But if you say no, bro, I, then that's what I know it is. for sure it's not. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Alright. For the whole entire group, do you know the difference between indica, sativa, and hybrid? Hell yeah. All right, indica, head highs. No, I'm tripping. By the how I'm tripping. Oh, my. I need to stop that smoking. Well, fuck the police. But hell yeah, indica. Body high, sativa, that fucking head high, and uh, hybrid, you get to mix up both of them bitches. So yeah, number one. Oh, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I don't mind nope. smoking you. Number bitches. two. Indica is more like a downer, kind of chill. Sativa uh -huh. is more like happy, let's get going. And hybrid is kind of a good mix of both. It depends on what it's mixed with. If it's a hybrid dominant, she grow her own. You got a little bit of gelato yeah, 33. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she got something to switch you to bed. You know? <laughs> Sativa, you just the opposite. That's you got some I lemonade. <laughs> you got some like that. Um, number three. Have you ever dealt with someone that had like clear addictions? Meaning that was obvious? Yeah. yeah, and you still sell to them. Yeah. Okay, it was a cutthroat business, man. You didn't, you couldn't care about none of that. Yeah, Number three, what are you doing in the morning? Wake and bake. <laughs> uh, Search for some acting jobs. Number five, what are you doing in the morning? I'm up at 6 a.m. with my morning blunt, going to see my trainer. Trainer, okay. Um, I'll say it again. Officially. We're ready to lock in. Well, 
Uh, together. Oh, okay. Officially, we're. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Officially, we're ready to lock in. Are you all high right now? Oh, yeah. Well, we I'm just a, got. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I needed something to mellow me out. This kind of thing. So the stoners no. have officially locked in their real deal, which means the game is over. All right, we think the real deal is number. Number two. Dose, dose. <laughs> they know too much about drugs. <laughs> Either a user or a seller. <laughs> we think the real deal is number three. I just feel like he was on point white with everything he was doing. I sold it to the white bitch before We're either getting no bamboozled started. or he, he's really no you know, doing what he says he does. If the lights on your podium turn green, that means you have chosen the real deal. If they turn red, that means that you have chosen an imposter. Law enforcement, your guess was former drug dealer number two. In three... Two, one. What? Mother lover. Damn. Damn. It's some old it training, was, bro. <laughs> it was the stripper, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm pissed. I'm, a little, I'm just a little mad, a little disappointed because I second guessed myself. For our stoner team, you have chosen former drug dealer number three. Let's see. Oh, gee. Inspiring actor. Three. Oh, it's me. Two. One. Oh, oh I'm sorry that we ran out. I had to get someone so she moved off of the field. They so we do. Hello, everybody. I'm Tyrone, and I am the real deal. After getting arrested a number of times and watching friends get killed and things of that nature, I was trying to find a way out. And the best way to get out of that type of life is you have to take yourself out of the environment. Leaving California is really what made me change. We won this we won for the stoners. stoners. <laughs> we did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did we learn in today's no, game? We learned that the higher the socks, the downer <laughs> the fool. <laughs> it comes down to that today. <laughs> So besides being a former drug dealer, what were you also? Law enforcement. No oh. shit. It's our red ass on. All right, we'll be back with another um, video after this. Uh,